Good morning. Welcome to the WCCE Morning News Show. My name is Lucas. Zoe and I will be your news anchors for today, Wednesday, October 4th, 2023. Did you know that today is National Cinnamon Roll Day? Here's Zoe with the weather. The current temperature in Lake Wiley, South Carolina is 56 degrees. Today's high is 83 degrees. The low tonight is 55 degrees. The forecast for today is nice with plenty of sunshine. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I salute to the flag of South Carolina and pledge to the Palmetto State, love, loyalty, and faith. At Crowder's Creek, we pledge to seek smart solutions, be on board learning, act responsibly, and respect others. And now for a moment of silence. Today for lunch, we will have chicken nuggets or turkey and cheese wrap. Mr. Thomas, Miss Hamilton, Miss House, and Mr. Palmer would like to wish a happy birthday today to Melania Martinez, Dominic Nadirwich, Easton Layman, Valerie Salvador, Valerie Salvador, Gianna Aragui, and Jalen Magna. Please see a librarian for your book machine token. Good morning, CCE students and staff, and happy Wednesday. It's Miss Hamilton, one of the assistant principals here at Crowder's Creek. I want to give you a quick reminder this morning that if to be on the listen for the correct dismissal bell and for your bus or daycare bus to be dismissed, especially in grades first through fifth grade, please be sure that you are exiting the classroom in a timely manner so you don't miss your bus and that you're at the car line before we have to come look for you. Um, if you will please teachers make sure students are um, not on iPads or engaging in activities that will require them to pack up and delay their exiting the classroom. We appreciate your support with that so that everyone can get home safely and in a timely manner. I also wanted to um, share a few things this morning about our golden spatula. Um, one of the things I've kind of heard in a couple different cafeteria visits is when people are being asked to pick things up or a classmate goes, hey, grab that so we can win, somebody will say, that's not mine. So I encourage you to think about being a good community member for our cafeteria. So even if that trash isn't yours or you didn't drop that item, I want you to think about how you can work as a group to win that golden spatula. Um, I was in a second grade classroom and they were talking um, about the golden spatula and um, they reminded me and the, um, and the second grade teacher let me borrow this book, thank you Ms. Prater, about a book called What If Everybody did that. And this is a great book for you to just think about what would it be like if everybody did that. Sometimes you drop trash on accident. What if everybody said, that's not mine? We would have a school that would be full of trash and we would have lots of things that needed to be taken care of. So I ask that you please be part of the group. The group wins the spatula. So the group needs to work together to be able to leave the cafeteria clean, exit quietly and quickly, and to use the right voice volumes in the classroom, in the cafeteria. If you would love for me, if you would like to borrow this book, or if you want me to come and talk more to your class, teachers, I'm more than willing to do so. Just send me an email and I'll talk to your class about it as well. The last thing is um, a quick shout out to second grade group A. I happened to be outside when they were there um, coming into the cafeteria. And if I wasn't standing there and saw them with my own eyes, I would have never known that group is outside. Thank you very much for being respectful of the first graders that are learning right outside that window when you come in and I hope to see some other students um, and groups doing the great right thing in and out of the cafeteria. Have a great day. Good morning Crowders Creek Elementary. This is Dr. Thomas here with the Sower Sofa and today we are celebrating our fifth graders who have been 
meeting our SOAR expectations. We're starting with Cameron. Cameron is nominated by his teacher, Mr. Henderson, for being on board with learning and acting responsibly. Cameron is always on board with learning and acting responsibly by following directions, completing all of his assignments with a great attitude. He soars every day. Great job, Cameron. Uh, also, from that same team, uh, we have Nevea, who was nominated by Miss Carrie Blackman. And Nevea was nominated for seeking smart solutions, being on board with learning, acting responsibly, and respecting others. Miss Carrie Blackman says that Nevea is a true star when it comes to math and science. Her dedication and hard work shine through every day in class. She likes, she's like a math detective, always seeking smart solutions by asking questions and working out problems with determination. Great job, Nevea. So these two will be invited to our SOAR celebration in December. They will also get a SOAR SOFA prize pack, including the very, very exclusive Eagle Ring. Thank you, too, for all that you are doing. And I'm going to actually let you two switch out because I have two more of my fifth grade friends that are going to join us. You come on in. Come on in. Lovely. <laughs> all right. So first... I have Colin, who was nominated by Ms. Maley for being on board with learning. Colin is an avid student who is always ready to learn. He is attentive, organized, and engaged with the lessons and tasks that are being presented to him. Colin seeks clarity when needed and actively participates in class discussions. Colin is an excellent role model for being on board with learning. Keep up the amazing work. Great job, Colin. And also, we have Abigail. Abigail was also nominated by Ms. Maley for acting responsibly. Abigail is a student who is a role model for her peers. She acts responsibly by always being ready, is prepared in her classes, assignments, and assessments, and seeks answers to her questions. Abigail dem demonstrates all of the components to being a SOAR student. Keep up the amazing work. Great job. So thank you to these uh, fifth grade friends for joining us here on the SOAR sofa. I will be back later this week with more friends for the SOAR Sofa because so many of you are doing an amazing job and I want to make sure that you get celebrated before we leave for our intercession week next week. And remember, all you have to do is seek smart solutions, be on board with learning, act responsibly, and respect others. And you could be joining me right here on the SOAR Sofa. Have a great day. That's all the news for today. Thank you for watching the WCCE Morning News Show. Have a great day.